Good morning guys. So take a look. I have finished install my uh, 12,000 BTU uh, mini split. It took quite a bit of work because I didn't have all the right stuff. Uh, I didn't have a manifold. I didn't have a vacuum. Um, I didn't have the right adapter for the, uh, the vacuum uh, to go into the uh, mini split. Apparently it uses something completely different. Anyway, this is a 12,000 BTU mini split with uh, heat pumps and I got it off eBay real cheap. Uh, got it during the sales, 20% off. So I got it for 400 bucks for a heat pump, uh, you know, 12,000 BTU. That's a really good price and it is blowing cold right now. Uh, I was gonna do a video on how it installs it, but obviously I this that's my first time and I don't know how to install it. That's why I didn't do a video because I will show you guys to do all the wrong stuff. Um, anyway, this is the Trident brand and it's like it's mostly used in Mexico. So um, it's uh, 220, uh, 60 hertz, but you know this one they mostly use it from in Mexico. So I will uh, go outside. I will show you um, the, uh, the 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 uh, uh, the outdoor unit. Okay. So as I was telling you about, so I'll pick up this and I'll show it to you. So here's the adapter that I would short, right? Because um, to connect to the um, the service line right here, you you have to get this adapter. And it's basically, it's a 516 SAE that's on here. So it's a 516 SAE. And then you have to go to a one quarter um, SAE. Uh, this is what would be like a standard uh, 410A system, I believe. And it will fit in a, a regular uh, manifold. Um, so that's basically it. And here's my install. Bought the little duct cover, go to the top come straight out nothing complicated drill four holes onto the concrete put it on um, I was gonna buy the rubber uh, isolator but Home Depot obviously don't have it uh, you, you know as the usual most of the stuff that I need Home Depot doesn't have it or they don't stock it anymore at the store and you have to order it so I just grew with it I just uh, bought you know two of the um, rubber footing for like sofa and stuff like that uh, the, the anti-slippery for the sofa and then I put one on the bottom I'm not sure if you can see that and then one on the top and then the bolt just go through it and it seemed like you know it give the units a little bit of, uh, of cushion and it's 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 you know it sound like it's working and it's running really smooth um, so that's pretty much it and the manual Show, told me that I have to put the unit, you know, 12 feet from the wall or all of the surrounding they have to have a space enough of a foot but unfortunately, you know, with my with my tiny uh, uh, drive uh, side of the house here, it's only like, I mean, 4 feet, uh, not even 4 feet and if I space this thing in a foot above here, I'm not, not going to have anywhere to walk or any path to uh, to take in my stuff so I just uh, I just put it like three and a half inches um, just enough for it to suck in the air from the back and then uh, I'll deal with the service you know issue later if I ever have to take it apart but I, I hopefully not and it's running really cold and really quiet um, as you can hear it here I'm about uh, right on top of it here and it's running full speed and you know I can still you can probably still hear me all right so let's go back inside all right and take a look as you can guess it's running on solar it, it gotta be right because I just put up 20 panels but this is a, a quick uh, dirty install so please don't give me crap for it I know it's bad I know it shouldn't be like this uh, but I'm only gonna run it uh, while I'm here working in my garage so I'm not gonna leave it like this 
obviously I was supposed to build a, uh, a uh, a full-blown system with two of these in, in you know in, in my back room and have a, a completely uh, off-grid setup all perfectly set up in there but obviously I don't have time yet the second inverter is still not here uh, my I haven't figured out which e-panel to go with and a bunch of other little things uh, but then I got my mini split going because it's super hot here you know it's about to be 105 degree here in in the Phoenix Arizona so I can't deal with that anymore so I had to get the mini split going and obviously once I get that going I hooked it to the grid power yesterday it was using about uh, 1.2 kilowatt continuous I figure if I if I leave it running for like eight ten hours a day you know it's gonna it's gonna kill me my, my electric bill is gonna kill me so and then I have like 20 panels of solar on my roof doing nothing so I, I just might as well just go ahead and do a quick dirty install, test out the inverter, make sure everything's working. Um, so basically I just hooked up. Um, so I removed one of the sets of cable. I ran a, a, a pair of cable for the water heaters when I only needed one and, and, and that pay off. Because now I split the cable, uh, the, split the set and still leave one for the water heaters and then the other one uh, basically uh, 400 well 300 350 volt uh, 400 volt uh, open circuits uh, coming in here so right now I only have 10 panels which is one string hooked up to this thing right now so I'm actually just using half of my uh, of my array and and it's it's probably gonna be way more than enough and then I hooked it up to two of the 16 cells uh 55 amp hour so there's 16 cell 55 amp hour chevy uh, uh volt this is the gen 2 so each of them is 3.1 kilowatts and nominally they are about 62 volts um so two of them is connected in parallels and then goes into this nissan leaf disconnect that i have which worked out pretty good and then just go to the inverter and then here's the AC hook. I know this is another bad thing. I need to put a breaker in there somewhere. But it goes straight to the inverter. And basically it's been running about uh, an hour. Um, I came here at uh, eight in the morning. And it was already, uh, I was able to get, uh, let's see, I was able to get a thousand watts at eight in the morning. And you have to understand my array is actually facing west. Um, so the sun come up in the east and then my rays facing 10 to 15 degrees west and then 8 a.m. in the morning it's already making a thousand watts for half of my panels so only 10 panels so I was I was pretty impressed then so here is some numbers so we go so right now my battery is uh, at 59.2 and then the low is 1.18 kilowatts 20% of the inverter low 60 hertz 230 volts and let me see so I think this is how much is going into the battery like 120 watts going to the battery I'm guessing I'm, I'm not quite understanding the PV input wattage uh, okay yeah so this is how much is going to the battery two one or two amps and then this is how much the solar is making 1.5 kilowatts so it's about 9 a.m. right now and it's already making more than what that AC is running full blast right now. So I am super happy. Um, I am hoping that I can get my all of the stuff together, the second inverter, and then the E panels, and then I can build a full blown system in the back, and then take this inverter to the back room, and then um, finish my system so it can run the big air conditioner along with this air conditioner. And I think I'm going to buy some really super bright LED lights for my garage and then leave that door fully closed and then just lit up the place and then I'll be on solar. And I, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm super excited. Um, you know, I just couldn't, I just couldn't bear the, the, the knowing that I have 20 panels on my roof. Um, the sun is shining. 
and then you know using the grid power to power my air conditioner I just couldn't stand that so you know pardon me give me a break I know it's a very um, dirty install my dad look at this and he's kind of scared of it but uh, you know we got that I got that quick disconnect on the solar on the outside and this battery um, disconnect is pretty easy you just lift this up and then you pull on this green thing and it will disconnect the battery so um, anyway thanks for watching um, the mini split is running really cold uh, I think it's a uh, hopefully it's a good unit hopefully I did everything right vacuum it out bleed it out properly so it's not gonna leak and then uh, hopefully I'll have it running you know 10 hours a day straight and then I'll give you guys an update after a month well thanks for watching if you like my video please subscribe and share and give me a thumb up. Thank you.